Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to give you a very basic uh, explanation of 3D layers in After Effects. We're going to animate this little for sale sign dropping down from this uh, from the pole. Um, so there, these aren't 3D objects, they're 3D layers in After Effects. Uh, this is just a basic introduction. In the next video, I will go more in depth about this and adding a camera and such. Uh, so let's jump in and we have this, uh, we have a background. Let's lock that. We have our base, is this one, and we have our for sale sign. So we can also lock our base and only the for sale sign needs to be 3D. So it is just an, a 2D illustrator layer, but when I check this button right here, it's a 3D, 3D layer and you can see these three axes appearing. We have the Y axis, the X axis and the Z axis. Um, and when I go to the select tool and, and I drag the Y up, I can drag it up in 3D space. I can drag it left or right. And if I uh, go on the Z and I can drag it uh, front or back and it actually moves in 3D space. I'm not going to touch that for now. We're going to do that in the next video. Um, but now I'm just going to show you a really basic technique with these 3D layers. So it is a 3D layer now. Um, so what I can do if I go to my rotation tool and if I rotate it like this, you can see I can rotate the 3D layer. It's not a 3D shape because it's just flat, but it behaves in a 3D, in a three dimensional way. Um, so when I want to animate this, I can open it up first and select put the anchor point, I can put the anchor point right here on top of, the, of here. Uh, so now this is my uh, pivot point. And if I go to rotate and I can rotate the on the X axis, just make sure you can, you, you can see the X and then click and drag. You can select it and it can turn up and it can move into 3D space. So, um, if I open my transform options and if I uh, if I look here while I'm doing this, you can see my orientation uh, value is moving. So let's just uh, put a let's go to let's zoom in here. Let's go to like two seconds or something, and hit a keyframe for our um, orientation, um, and then just go back in time and drag this up so it's behind the the sign, and it creates a keyframe. And if I zoom out and I play it back, it, it falls down. So we want to make it bounce a little bit. Um, so let's go, uh, we, we can't use uh, Motion V2 and Excite for this, it doesn't work on 3D layers, so we have to do this by hand, which is no problem. Um, so we're going to go here, um, and this keyframe, this, this needs to be the end position, it needs to end uh, at zero, just hanging flat uh, face down. So we're gonna drag that out, and then here we're going to we're going to copy this and paste it. We're going to a bit to the front. You know, let's just delete this one. Um, it's easier. So now it falls in and it just goes forward a bit, and then a few frames further it goes backwards a bit, and a bit further again. forward again a little bit maybe one more time and one second to the front and then flat yeah like that okay okay that looks awful so of course we're going to easy ease this Right click, a keyframe assistant, easy ease. And there you go. And how does this one go? It's way too slow. Yeah. And then you can just play with this. If you, if you, if you wanted to bounce or to wiggle up and uh, uh, to the back and front a bit faster, just select them all, hold option on your keyboard and then drag the last one in or out to it move them all. Yeah, and then you just need to play around with this. Yeah. 
something like that. And you can see it moves a bit too far back on the for my taste. You know, like that. So that's it. That's the basic principle of 3D layers in After Effects. And I can rotate them uh, like this and on the Z axis like this. Uh, that's not suitable for this example though. So this is just a really basic idea of the uh, of a 3D uh, layer implementation in After Effects in your 2D composition. Uh, in the next video I'll be showing you how to take this to a next level uh, by adding a camera and actually have the camera moving through uh, your 3D space and your 3D layers. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching and check out the next one if you want to learn more, more about 3D layers and I hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye-bye.